Morning, fellas. Cable guy Ken here. Uh, finished up my tarp the other day. Just want to just do a quick little video, show you what I got with my finished product here. Um, I don't have it staked out 100%. Just got it thrown up kind of quick so I could do this for you. Um, let me take this off of the tripod. Just bear with me for a second here. We'll just walk with it. You see, I've got uh, that gross grain ribbon, they call it. I've got that. I've got one on the where my ridge line would be. And of course, one on each corner. And then I put three more on the side so that I've got multiple spots to tie it out. And I can tie this one down leave this end flap the way it is you know leave it loose and then at night time if I need to I can pull this in to kind of close off the ends of it a little bit um, that's what they call the digital tiger stripe camo it's uh comes out it's probably about a three ounce nylon I believe and it's not waterproof yet I'll be doing that today if it doesn't rain I'll be uh, putting some waterproofing on it. Like I said I've just got it kind of quick tied out. Just uh, of course tied off to my ever-present bucket truck here. Got the uh, ridge line tied out. I'm going to go get some uh, shock cord material to make the uh, side tie outs. That way I can, you know, pull it out fairly tight. But as it stretches or as the wind blows, it'll have a little bit of give, so I'm not straining it too much. But uh, it ends up, it's about a 9 by 10, roughly. So I've got plenty of coverage. Um, I don't have the backside staked out yet. Like I said, I just wanted to stake it out quickly to show you the size of it and everything. But uh, it's definitely going to cover my hammock. I've got a uh, triple folded seam going down the middle here that's been triple stitched my outside seam is just double folded with a single stitch um, using a nylon and polyester thread um, should hold pretty good I'm not the best you know sewer in the world but uh, it don't look too bad back up and give you a little bit better shot of it here don't look bad it's gonna give me some good cover I am thinking about going in. I'm getting ready to sew a stuff sack for it. Out of this, I've got enough of this material left over to make a stuff sack. And I think I'm going to put another set of tie outs on each end about right here. So I'll have four more tie outs. That way if I choose to, I can actually turn this the other way. And, uh, you know, hang it with, with this point here being the ridge line instead of this one. Um, and you'll notice when I did my seam on top here, you'll only see the one stitch. I didn't want this big flap here being on top and out in the open that might collect rain. So I made this my seam, so I've got a smaller seam to deal with. And I'll, uh, of course, I'll take that and everything. You see a few places where I said my sewing wasn't the greatest in the world. But... I hadn't sewn anything in a while, so having to get used to it again. <laughs> but it was fun. It was aggravating, but it was fun. And uh, let me get this thing. I'm going to take it down real quick and pack it down, and I'll show you how little it packs down into. So I'll be right back with you, fellas. All right, fellas. This is my little tarp here packed up. I can get it a little bit tighter. Like I said, I will have a little stuff sack to pack this down into. But that nylon's kind of slippery. It moves around on you as you roll it up. I've got it tacked so that all the, you know, all the tags are inside. All the uh, tie-out points are tacked up, tucked inside of it so I don't have to worry about them getting in the way. Um, it's not really that big. It weighs... 1.8 pounds now when I add the uh, sealant to this on the other side I'm just going to use a silicone 
sealant for the waterproofing. I did it on a test piece. Um, I sprayed it with the silicone waterproofing, filled it up with about a gallon of water, and tied it into a you know into a pouch, hung it up, and left it staying there. And three hours later, there was still no water seeping through, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I said I think it'll do just fine. Even at a downpour, I think it'll keep me dry. It's not really that big. You're looking at a about an eight-inch long package, and probably about four and a half, five-inch diameter at the most. And that's, you know, that's pretty pretty tight. And I said when I put it in the in the uh, stuff sack, you know, that's no room at all for a nine by ten tarp. So I'm I'm real happy with it. I love the the camo pattern on it. Um, I think it's going to work out real good. I said it's going to work great for my hammock or as a standalone shelter. You can do this in a pyramid fashion um, just as an A-frame pup tent. It's uh, long enough that you can even lay part of this on the ground and lay on it and still have plenty of fabric left over to come over you as a shelter. So uh, I'm happy with it. When I get it waterproofed and everything, get my shock cords made it for the made for the guy outs and all that on it, get me some uh, small tent stakes which I'm probably going to make from some uh, eighth inch brass rod that I've got inside the house I think that'll be fine um, I like to make it if I can make it instead of buying it I'm saving money so this isn't as good as a seal nylon tarp but I've got eleven dollars in fabric and not including the money I spent for the sewing machine that I had to replace you know I've got eleven dollars in fabric total on this in my time a, you know a good lightweight tarp 1.8 pounds isn't heavy at all for something this size and uh, it's durable enough um, I could even make a hammock out of the material out of the same material and it do just fine for me so that's it fellas just wanted to show you real quick probably made this video a lot longer than I intended but that's my little tarp go and make my stuff sack for it now and get ready to go get my kids here for the weekend see y'all in the next video